Going to the Political Farm Podcast, yeah, Dominion voting machines nationwide having a glitch, uh, alleged the Michigan Secretary of State. Definitely had the word alleged 15 times, because, yeah, we never insinuate that Dominion voting machines are anything but perfect, even though they're electronic, and by the very nature, anything electronic can be hacked. But I partially digress. Now, going to the post, you actually have this coming from Nick Sorter, who says, quote, New Michigan Secretary of State Jacqueline Benson says there is a nationwide issue with Dominion voter access terminals, preventing votes from making certain selections. Of course there is. According to her office, this programming issue cannot be fixed and voters are being forced to, to deal with it. Why does this quote-unquote issue not get caught during the testing period and why can't we just use paper ballots? And this one pretty well, I got 2 million views. Let's see, uh, pull this up here and see what she has to say. Issues with the programming of the uh, bats with specific yes. Dominion. Mm -hmm. Why was that only caught in the past few days and why can't it be fixed? I, I saw the release yeah, this is a nationwide issue with Dominion voter access terminals in uh, in the counties that use them. And the voter access terminals, of course, not all all the machines, just the ones that are accessible, uh, have an issue with the uh, straight party voting and a programming issue that's again affected the machines nationwide. And I think all of us that use Dominion machines were were um, were unhappy to learn about this uh, mm -hmm. during the. Uh, the testing period and, and um, as early voting began. So we're working with Dominion to, to seek accountability uh, on that front uh, and also have, are working with our clerks to ensure voters are aware of this uh, uh, programming issue that will, will require them to ensure they are uh, voting every section on the ballot. Do you think it's a bigger issue in Michigan because we do allow voters to cross over in ways that a lot of other states don't? Because we have straight party. It's, it's not... It, it's it's not um, struck me as I've talked to my other colleagues in other states. They're just as upset about it as we are. <laughs> so uh, yeah, of course surprised. I think yeah. Yep. Well, I'm not surprised. Got two million views again. Thirty six thousand likes. When well, the first comments coming from Gunther Eagleman who says, "quote Why am I not surprised?" Gained one point two thousand likes. You have Nick Sorter responding to him saying, "quote It's always demeaning, and somehow Michigan always ends up after up elections." Coincidence? Gained two point one thousand likes. Mark Costello says, quote, paper ballots would, ha would have no issue, gaining 785 likes. He sort of responds saying, quote, why do they keep messing with the software of these machines? What's up with that? What are they doing? Gaining 637 likes. Good question. Liz Churchill says, quote, this is horrific. They're not even hiding it, gaining 886 likes. To which he responded saying, quote, nope, because they've never been held accountable. What do they have to worry about? Gaining 849 likes. True. Although they might be called, you know, to D.C. to testify. And they might get the wrist, you know, get a slap on the wrist from some, uh, you know, some Republicans in D.C. Yeah. Also known as just uh, pandering or virtue signaling. I mean, in terms of being held accountable, that's pretty rare these days. Well, depending on what side of the political you are on. Junita Broderick says, quote, paper ballots, one-day voter ID. So simple. Game 4.5 thousand likes, which, uh, yep. Yeah, it's one of those things where, I mean, so few Americans have any confidence in the voting system these days. Of all the BS hollies we have from the federal government, I'm not, I'm usually in favor of not getting a single additional one because there's so many BS ones. So if you actually were to have one that really matters in terms of adding a new one, I would be in favor of a federal voting day where everyone just takes the day off. And granted, it's not going to take you the whole day. So if you have a service industry, you can do, you know, people covering the shifts and stuff like that. But you just have a national day off. Everyone goes, everyone votes, you know, all paper ballots. You all count them the same day. You're not like Maricopa County taking 10 to 13 days to count the votes, which means they're either woefully inept or corrupt. I can't decide which is worse, or you can decide in the comments, let me know. But yeah, let's see. Nick Sorter responds saying, quote, but then it'll be hard for them to cheat, gaining 2.2 thousand likes. Like a chippy sin, says, quote, will someone tell me why Dominion was not barred from the election after last time, gaining 2.1 thousand likes? Nick Sorter responds saying, quote, why insist on using a company with a huge swath of Americans don't trust, especially when it comes to exercising their most sacred right, gaining 1.2 thousand likes? AKA says, why are we still using this crap being 157 likes, which, I mean, government contracts is one of those things where once you get the contract, eh, simply put, you're on that contract for quite some time, it's pretty hard to kind of displace them. So if I were to guess, I'd say they've had these contracts long in place to be used for a myriad of voting um, activities or, you know, elections. So again, unless there's a competitor that's going to come out somewhere, and again, I'm not sure how much, you know, not just fiscal, but, you know, real infrastructure you need to compete with them. I mean, I'm not sure how many options there really are. Now you also hit, have, let's see, Naomi Sheepit saying, quote, this is, it is, sorry, it is disastrous, disastrously easy to manipulate a single line of code and produce different results. Why are we trying to provoke it? So working 879 likes. 
McSorder responded saying, quote, my biggest concern is that apparently Dominion pushed some sort of last second software update to machines across the country. It'd be super easy for a malicious actor to take advantage of that. Getting 791 likes, which, yep. Let's see. Isa says paper ballots are the only way, getting 308 likes. Which, let's see here. I'm not seeing much contrary. I'm not seeing a lot of contrarian statements here. <laughs> you have, uh, let's see. Robert the Builder said, quote, here we go again, folks. It's a Photoshop picture of Hillary Clinton in a moving truck. Or FedEx truck, which obviously, you know, it's fake because, you know, she's never come, done anything in terms of a modicum of, you know, real effort or real job for contributing to society. So, you know, it's, you know, Photoshop for her to look like a FedEx employee, which actually contributes to society and serves its purpose. Though I should say, quite definitely enough, uh, Hillary Clinton is definitely a wise, intelligent, beautiful woman, has definitely not has had a disproportionate amount of people who are around her who have committed suicide, like 28 people or something like that. And I plan to live a long and fulfilling life. Just just uh, coincidentally, I want to throw that out there today. Now, the picture of the uh, Photoshop picture of Hillary saying just getting ready to drop out the rest of the ballots got 47 likes. Wayne says, quote, we knew it would happen again. It looks like looks like a city on fire, or like a model of a city on fire. And some folks in DC say safe and they're saying safe and secure. Dominion voting machines getting 18 likes. Let's see. <laughs> the best one is a Photoshop picture of Kamala Harris. Where she's pretending to be Princess Leia from the Star Trek thing. Kidding, I know it's Star Wars. But instead of R2D2 saying, you know, help me, I'll be one, you're my only hope, the new text says, help me, Dominion, you're my only hope. Gain 20 likes. So I should get more likes. I think that's funny, you know, Star Wars parody like that. And that is thanks to Alistair uh, Chishem. See here. Hey, says, quote, so my guess is they can't pick Republican can candidates. Gain 11 likes. It is fascinating how all these quote-unquote errors mysteriously always are advantageous to one political party. It's a very interesting coincidence. And, I mean, at this point, the election is days away. I, I, don't, I don't think it's conceivable for another business to come in and take over the voting machines in terms of having an alternative solution. I, I'm guessing there's going to, be, going to be a lot of lawsuits after the election, like there is every election since the Gore election, or what was it, the, um, yeah, yeah, it was the Al Gore election way back in the day. And again, since then, Republicans and Democrats have been suing each other ever since. So I suspect this will be part of a myriad of lawsuits. We'll see if anyone, I mean, Fox News lost, what was it? Is the largest settlement in media history. I believe it was about $750 million settlement to Dominion. When Fox News and their anchors, you know, said how they didn't think Dominion voting machines were secure. Again, it wasn't proven in court one way or another. It was settled outside of court. But again, it was also settled for seven, what was it? I think it was $750 million. The largest media settlement in history. And it'll be interesting. I mean, they're saying this is a nationwide glitch. Um, and again, fascinating how these glitch. Remember at Amazon Alexa, when you asked her, give me some reasons to vote for Donald Trump, the little Alexa robot would say, oh, I can't do political things. And then when you say, give me re reasons to vote for Kamala Harris, they said it was because she was a woman and uh, African-American. Which is also pretty disrespectful of her. Your lack of accomplishments are just your, you know, your character, or not your character, actually, just what your, where your background is from. Not actual, you know, things you've achieved. Granted, it's a pretty short resume for her, but... Yeah, they uh, then they only after pushback did Amazon say, "Oh yeah, it was just a coincidence. Uh, we're sorry, we uh, corrected that error." So now we'll actually say, if you, you know, give me reasons to vote for Kamala Harris, they'll say we don't give political advice, stuff, stuff like that. So let me know. Do you think Dominion at the end of the day will they be sued? Will they be successfully sued? Is this? Do you think it's an honest mistake, just a little glitch in the code? Let me know your opinion because as always, be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you can click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment. It's a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers. Heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.